Welcome back to the shop. So I got uh, the rails for the seat all repainted here. And I mentioned in the last video that this rod was way too long. Somebody had kind of bent it to try and shorten it up, but I ended up taking it off, heated up this end and rebent it and shortened it up. So we've uh, got it so that it actually works again. I always see a fair number of guys uh, wonder about where to mount an aftermarket stereo. Um, I personally like to have the old school stereo on the dash just for the looks. Um, you can get the custom auto sound units that look vintage, but um, what I ended up doing is I kept the stock GM one in the dash and then I just hid my aftermarket one here under the seat. Just uh, made up a couple brackets. From the driver's seat, it's easy enough to reach down for the volume. And I run just, uh, it's actually an old iPhone that I just use as an iPod. Plug it into the uh, USB there. I can tuck it under the seat. And with the iPod, you can do your volume and all your controls. So I don't really end up using any of the controls. I like that. It's out of the way. You don't see it. Uh, when the seat's in the truck, it's impossible to see it. And it uh, works pretty well. Run my wiring up under the carpet into the back there. And uh, it's worked really well. So definitely an idea for you guys. I know some guys will put them in the glove box as well. But glove boxes in these trucks are quite small to begin with. And I like to keep a few extra bits and a few tools and that in there too. So it is a Chevy after all. So got to keep some spare parts and tools with you. Um, anyways, so I'm going to fire this back in. I picked up some new hardware. A few of the bolts were missing, so I'll get this thrown back in there. All right, so she's all back in there. My seat belts fed back through, everything bolted down. Like I said, with uh, that stereo in there, you can't see it unless you're right down on the floor here, but I'm gonna get everything cleaned up, give it a vacuum, everything wiped down. Probably gonna pull the truck out and wash it tomorrow. It's a little bit dusty from sitting all winter. And uh, we'll give the interior detail while we're at it. I did just pull the distributor as well. The uh, mechanical advance on there was a little gummy, so took it apart, polished everything up, cleaned everything up, dropped it back in. And I gotta go tomorrow morning pick up my PCV valve. Believe it or not, uh, local parts house had to order in a PCV valve for a small block Chevy. Shows you how they're phasing the old stuff out. Um, I haven't run one on this for the last couple of years, but I really gotta get one on there. I've just been running double breathers, but uh, I've got the grommets. We'll swap it out and stick a PCV on there. I've also got to run it down there and pick up a package that showed up. Uh, they tried to deliver it. I wasn't home, so they took it to the drop point. And uh, that night I found out that the uh, drop point caught fire. So I went to go pick it up the next day. Everything was roped off. Luckily, it sounds like the fire happened before my package got there, so they redirected it to the nearest city. So just wait to see if they're going to drop it off here what's going on but always something other than that i'm just doing some cleanup in the shop here bench was a bit of a mess not quite as messy as mr heavy chevy if any of you follow him uh he actually cleaned his workbench off for the first time and uh, as long as i've been watching he's well known for having messiest workbench on youtube but uh i think it was actually cleaner than mine for a bit so uh can't have that like i said gonna tidy up Put some stuff away, it's a beautiful sunny day out there, so I might go work on some stuff out uh, on the 68 or see what we can get into. Might uh, tackle that lower rad hose on this one later as well. Previous owner had kind of cobbled this contraption together here. It's not quite the right hose, so it rubs on the frame. But I managed to find one that will supposedly work. This truck would have originally had a 307 in it and it got swapped out. So uh, just need something to clear that frame rail. That one there works, it's just, kind of tacky so we'll get that dealt with so that's it for now i'm gonna go see what kind of trouble i can get into and uh we should have another one coming up here for you in the next week or so so as always thanks for watching we'll see you next time